today is going to be an interesting project for me and I hope for you. I'm going to make a recirculating sluice box. So the idea is uh, since I'm digging holes and I found gold in my land, in every fence post there's many flakes of gold. I want to build a sluice box. And the idea is that See, I want a recirculating sluice box. I have a water pump, which is going to go into this tank here. And the dirt and sand and gravel from the sluice box is going to come off into this bucket. Once it fills up to a certain point, water will overflow into this big container. And then if any sand comes out with that, it should hopefully settle into this container. Once water gets to a certain level, on this container it'll flow into here and the water pump can pick it up and put it back into the sluice box and so on and so on hopefully preserving the life of my water pump that's the plan anyway so it's gonna be a sort of a larger project because first I have to prepare the tanks now the first part oh I cut my head off the first part and the easiest is to put some holes in this bucket here so what I want is the water to fill up to a certain point and pour out I'm going to go around this actually this is the strongest point here I'm going to go through in this lip here that's a strong point in the bucket so I'm going to go through it in here with a three-quarter inch bit should work just fine now we don't have to get all scientific and precise I just need a mess of holes the water flow rate I have no idea what is it 200 gallons per minute so I don't think it's going to be all that spectacular flow rate on that pump that I'm using So, I'm just going to put a mess of holes in here. And I'll continue. I'll get all these holes in here. So, now I have eight holes around the perimeter of this bucket. I can put that aside and now the other one I've sort of measured off roughly I, I definitely want it below the top of the holding tank so I have to go below this line here this isn't going to be all scientific I'm just going to go and put holes in here this is softer plastic very soft wow it'll flow like I want it to hopefully I'm not getting too high on there hopefully the idea a lot of hopefuls I'm experimenting here the idea is this is going to cause most of the sand to be left behind by the time the water gets up to the water pump level. So there's that part. So now I've got my spillover container. All the sand and water goes in. Sand hopefully settles down. Water comes out. Any sand that may have flowed in, uh, out settles here before this fills up and then the water pump can send it up into the sluice box and start the cycle over again. And here I have a sluice mat I purchased for this project. I 
thought that was longer. It's supposed to, I guess, supposed to be 23 inches. It sure is. So that's 23 inches. I think I'm going to double. So it's 23 by 12. So I think I'm going to cut this in half and make it a 46 inch length just to ensure that I capture everything. Uh, being only six inches wide is going to make it slower. I won't be able to feed as fast, but the plan for this sluice box is actually for me to use it for um, my concentrates more than anything. I want to experiment here in the field with it, but I also want to use it for the concentrates and uh, try to get out. See, I'm trying to keep my garnet sand, and so I'm hoping that these ripples will catch a lot of the garnet. If I set the flow right, I can get the blind sand off, keep the garnet and the gold, and then run that through a finishing process afterwards to get the gold out. So this is just shy of 12 inches. So I've got to cut this. I've got to mark it a 16th under 12. Hope I can see that when I'm done. We're 16th under 6, I should say. Okay. Nine inch straight edge. Well, I think it's going to be just fine. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Two mats. Okay. So now I have to make the frame of it. So first, I'm going to cut off right here the edge of that cup. Measure my 50 inches. Michelle, I'm making a video and I can't hear you with this on. No idea what she was saying. So there's my 50 inches. Now, if there's, if there's any cupping in it at all, it would be in this direction, which is fine for my needs to keep everything centered, if there's any at all. So, uh, I got an idea. I've got to t try something out. I'll be right back in a few minutes. I started that out with a hand planer I'm trying out and reviewing, and then I finished it with a uh, the belt sander. Now I've got to cut the other one to size, and then I'm going to prep that one as well. This other board I'm going to rip in half so that I have sides for the sluice box. So I'm going to rip this in half. So I need three inches to a side. It's not a perfect board, so I'm not going to get a perfect rip. But I do what I have, or what I can with what I have. In this case, I'm putting a helmet on <laughs> my chainsaw protection.
gonna take the uh, the dirty edge off, and then I'll sand it so that no gold or dirt can get trapped in the wood itself. Well, now here's the idea of it. The water's gonna come in here. I'll put my sand in here, and the light stuff will go at the end. Gold will stay here. Garnet hopefully in the middle, and I'll be able to save everything I want. I still have to put this together, but it's lunchtime. Now this part will have a curing time, so actually just two pieces of this. So what I need to do is work on the water part of this first. So I've got some hardware. I went into the store and got some plumbing pieces. I probably don't even need the, well, the PVC cement, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I just set the cap on. I had to use a pipe wrench to get that open. I set the cap on and get an idea how big do I need this. Roughly here, cut across the D. certainly don't need a lot. I know you should usually do both sides, but this is not a high pressure, high stress situation here. There's just an end cap. Now, I want to put a hole through the wood before I put this other piece on. So I'm going to find a bit that is that size. I've marked where I want to drill this. Let me see. I might go a little higher. Yeah. I want to go a little higher. I drill straight as I can. I want this to fit in here snugly. Very snug. Almost too snug. I want it to fit snugly so I can adjust it, uh, the angle of flow, if I want to later. Obviously, this didn't come out perfect on the table saw, but it's, it doesn't have to be. And that's why should have had a back block on there. Okay, I'm going to hit that a little bit more on this side. I just hopped over to the drill press real quick and put some holes in. And that was the plan. I wanted to get that in so I have my hole straight before I screw this together. Otherwise, um, 
if I drill crooked, I might never get that to work. So there's that. Now I'm going to stand this up on end, clamp it, and screw all of this together. So this is bowed a little bit here, so I'm going to put screws in the ends first. I'm going to see if I can try to pull that in. I don't know. Mm, maybe a little. Uh, I almost need two hands. I don't think I can do it with a clamp. That helped. I don't want gold getting in between here, so... Alright, now... That part's done. We can bring the plumbing back over. We can put this cap on. Make sure everything fits first. Okay, that'll go there. There's a, a bit of plumbing needed to get this. Why is that so much bigger? Well, I hope this can work. Quite a bit of plumbing parts necessary to get this to go on to the water hose, but that'll give me a good thing to grip and turn here if I ever do want to adjust the angle of water. Not a high pressure system, so that on there again I'm just gonna snug these on I'm not worried if there's ever a drip in here it's gonna be an outdoor use thing anyway so I don't want to touch that so yeah I'm gonna let that snug a minute before I uh, try to turn this but there's the plumbing coming along as that sets up I'll start making the, the framing for the base that it'll sit on. So I'm just putting together the stand for this. I only have one battery at hand so I'm switching. I'm trying to go up at a bit of an angle. This is uh, some poplar scrap wood from the mill that I'm using. Well, there it is, guys. Um, there's nothing holding this together, so I'm probably, I wanna be able to make this portable. So I'm probably going to put two pieces across from here to here with a, uh, a, a hole, see if that works. So I can just sort of like drop it in place. But I'm also considering to make this adjustable height, being able to move this in or out to adjust the slope. See that? That was my plan to get a more gentle or a more aggressive slope. I measured this at four inches in. 
and I'm centering this on here and then I'm going to drill through I've pre-drilled boy this thing doesn't hold for anything today I've got a nail for now that should actually work actually this isn't bad. I mean, it's slightly wobbly without the, uh, the sluice box on it. But what I like is, um, of course, I might have to pre-drill the holes a little bit looser. But I can slip this up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to drill the holes looser. I'm using a rusty old nail. I can slip this out and adjust my angle with ease. So there's that, and then I can, I mean, everything's absolutely adjustable now. So I'm going to put some more holes in here so that once I start working, I won't have to worry about drilling on later. The water is circulating, it's coming from the pump into the sluice box, running down into the big bucket overflowing into the main container and back in to the water pump it works I mean I can just I can throw a scoop on there it goes away I can see the black sands concentrating up here in the, the blondes are going down so it's doing its job this is supposed to be a uh, for me a finishing sluice box. I can just throw a scoop on there. It's going to go away. So I don't have to really be really slow. See, I can just throw a shovel on there. This is from uh, Lake Huron. This batch right here. So it'll be interesting. I'm going to run this pan through. It'll be interesting to see if I do collect any gold. But the mats are doing their job. And that's what's important. The mats are catching all the heavies up here. And I'm concentrating this, this black sand, beach sand mix right here. Oh, there's a pretty tiny little piece of uh, um, Frankfurt green slag in there. Yeah, you can tell this was beach sand. There's some seashells in there. But, you know, throw it in there. It works. Even the, some of the stones and pebbles are washing away. But I'd say for now, overall, first run, it's doing its job. I'd say it's a success for first run. You can see right here, there's a streaks of black sand and the blondes are washing out. They absolutely are washing out. You can see that. Actually, I'm pretty excited. I feel really good about it. I love it. I think it is really awesome. Well, guys, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Every thumb up, every like, and every comment helps boost my channel.